Welcome to the Apex CCTV video surveillance instruction series. In this training module, we will show you how to connect surveillance cameras to a standalone DVR and the power supply that runs it. Here on the back of the DVR, you will take the camera connection and it goes in the input side over here. You rotate it till it slides in, rotate it some more, and it locks in place. Then take the other end and attach it same way. The two pieces rotate, go together, you push it in and rotate it lock. There's a little tab that locks in place. And the power goes in like this. At the other end, you would take your connectors and you connect the power and here the black cable goes to the common side of this and the positive is the red and it goes on the top piece like so in here and you screw them in. Okay. Once the cables are in place then you would take the power cord from the box and plug it into a regular type of outlet for them. Now, a second type of power supply that you can hook up to your cameras also is the single power supply. What you would do in that case, take the wire and it plugs once again just like the camera end together like so and you take the other reciprocal end and it goes also into the power uh, box like that and that will also power your camera. Now, when it comes to hooking up the monitor on the, the standalone DVR such as this, you have two methods of doing it. You have a standard B and C cable output, looks just like this kind of cable. You hook it on, once again, twist it closed, and the other end goes to the RCA video input on a TV. A second method to hook up the DVR it, to a PC monitor instead of a TV uh, type monitor is using a converter such as this that will convert the DVR output to a monitor input. You start with the input from the, the output from the DVR goes in here. You would plug in the power for that adapter like so. The monitor cable would go on the end of this and you would secure it so it doesn't move such as that and then you take your power and you plug it in at your adapter and this way will run the signal from the DVR right into your regular computer monitor. In conclusion during this period of instruction we showed how to attach these surveillance cameras using these cables to attach to a standalone DVR using this power supply here. Now, we also have single power supplies for the camera that can be used in, con in conjunction with this or in place of this for the cameras. Also, in the monitor mode, we have a adapter that allows you to put this output from this DVR, standalone DVR, to a regular VGA computer monitor using the adapter and power supply instead of coming straight out into a TV monitor. 